The whole concept is to make the front of the house look like it's Frankenstein's entryway. So Tanya did those great boxes yes. yesterday, which are yeah. the special deliveries from Frankenstein. With the monsters coming With the monsters, mm -hmm. which are adorable. So this is the addition. It's very inexpensive. It really transforms the house. It yeah. does. And it's very inexpensive to make and very easy. All right. Yeah. So we have a little bit of video of you guys starting this project, getting it all together. What do we need, by the way? Oh, well, okay, let's well, do this and we'll talk so about it. So first, measure, measure your door. You want to make sure you're coming a little bit so there's room to open. And then measure this plain black foam core and cut it in to three pieces. And it's super easy to cut foam core. So right, just with the utility knife. Yeah. There are three pieces, and then you're just going, I took care of one seam, Tanya did the we other. Did the other. A little hot glue, and put on some of your scrap on the back, which yeah. is going to turn it into one big piece. One big, huge, gigantic door. Oh, and I love this part. This well, this I took from you weathering. And, um, yes. and weathering it, which is just a dry brush, gray paint, just scrape it along, very easy. Very easy, and use a watered down paint yep. as well, and an old brush works even better than a new one. And then here we're kind of scoring it to create these old wooden sort of seams. We wanted to make it look like there were three right. big wooden slats right. that actually put this door right. together. And that's how we did there. And, and the little then, notches on the end you did, which I love. And then we just do a, another piece of scrap on the front, same technique, and voila, you have your basic door. Yeah, yeah. It's so fabulous. realistic. Here. I know, it's amazing. It does. Yeah. And I just looks want to point metal. out the notches here because I didn't really get to show you. These were just little Vs. Look cut at out right on the We were just showing here. a picture of it there and, and up full. Oh, and it sorry. just looks yeah. so good. Yeah. I, yeah, it, it looks good. really good. It looks like real steel yeah. and wood. Does now, it? It does. To finish it off and to give it the real the real zest for the, the bolts, all I got was, if you can see here, um, you've got little wood um, buttons. You get those at the craft store and just put them on with a little bit of hot glue to make them look like more than wood. And this is Dave's patented finish here. Yes. You get black, brown, and orange paint, just regular craft paint, and dip a little bit in each one. And you're just going to dab those on the front, and that immediately gives you that rusted. Yeah, yeah. makes it look like over here. This looks look like a piece well, of yeah, and rusty. For that, what we wanted to do with metal. that is, I took a styrofoam ball. You can also use a ping pong ball. You cut it in half. We're gonna glue the very last one on to make these gorgeous rusted hinges. So it's gonna look like that before you paint it and treat it. And, and then for that then, hinge shape, you can go to our Pinterest page. We'll have that template pattern for you. So you just yes. print it out and cut it out. Exactly. You make it larger, smaller, whatever you need for your door. And then right. again, you take your watered down black, brown, and orange, just kind of mix it all up together and just right. kind of dab it on. Oh, like show that. how you do the edges. The edges were very cool. And then the edges, let me show you. Hold on one second there. So this is what I love. The edges to get them sort of beaten and tattered looking. You're just going to get your nails in there. Just kind of like what if you don't have do nails? that all the way Teeth. down. Teeth, Teeth work just as well. Good. I Perfect. Yeah, but you just kind of pinch it in. Kids, come or, here. Or Chew on this. Like that, oh, no. Just like that, and, and you sort of get this, <laughs> Ew. this kind of look here. And I love using, make sure that you get enough orange paint on there to really get that rusted look and mix it in really well. I love doing different textures. And then we're just going to glue this on. This is our very last step. And you guys, you can do this on your front door. You can do it on your garage door if you want to do a gigantic size. Yeah, the oh, idea of a garage door wouldn't it be great and great. And yeah. really, phone core is a, a couple of dollars. Yep. It costs yeah. like nothing. 